Hey there, this is LA Calling, and you're watching Brutally Delicious with Bruce Moore. Hey, welcome to Brutally Delicious. I'm Bruce Moore. Today we've got yet another great show for you. This time, we're going to go down to Costa Rica and speak with the guys from the Eyes of Desolation. And if you stay tuned, we're going to see what they have cooked up for us today. Hi Bruce and everyone, we are the Eyes of Desolation and today we're going to prepare the popular chifrijo here in Costa Rica. Uh, basically you can prepare it with rice, beans, chicharron and chimichurri. Now you might be wondering what the hell is chimichurri? Chimichurri is a mix of the following ingredients. It's going to be tomato, onion, sweet pepper and coriander. Basically what we need to do to make the chimichurri is uh, cut all the all the ingredients and mix them all together in a bowl. Well, the next ingredient, and personally the most important one for the chifrijo, will be the chicharrones. The chicharron, it's basically pork cut in pieces. We already did it, but uh, we need to cut a little more because the pieces need to be, uh, well, a small pieces. So I'm gonna show you what the tender beans are. These are the tender beans. They're just beans, but tender. And then there's the rice. This is the rice. It's just regular rice. So you mix it up, and there you go. So now we're gonna put the chifrijo together. So you start with the rice, the beans, the tender beans. Then the chimichurri. And the chicharrones. The best part. Additionally, you can add tortilla, chips, on it. It will be a lot better with tortilla. There you go.
for those not familiar with the band The Eyes of Desolation, can you tell us a little bit about yourselves? Well, the project started when Chus and myself were involved in a high school musical festival. So uh, we participate on that and Chus won the first prize and myself the second prize. So we shared our passion for music and then we met Javier. And after that, uh, Carazo joined us in the keyboards and then Mario on, on the drums. Uh, so we start to listen different kind of music. So we, we, we are all different. We have different uh, styles. So we try to mix that and make what the Ice of Desolation is right now. Now that your CD, Songs for the Desolated Hearts, has been released a little bit, a little bit ago, how do you feel about it? Are you satisfied with the outcome? Well, the response has been really, really good. We received a lot of comments from different Europe countries, also from Central America and South America. And regarding the album, we are really happy about it. Uh, we put a lot of effort on it, and we'll, uh, we hopefully want to tour the album on all those countries and meet, and meet a lot of people in there. Many groups have different ways of writing. The writing process is very greatly. How do you guys go about writing your songs? Well, when we compose the music, uh, every member of the band collaborate in, in each aspect. So, Mayo with the drums, uh, Carazo with the keys, um, Chus with the guitars and, and Javier with the bass. Uh, I'm in charge of uh, writing the lyrics, but basically we, we enjoy to, to put our passion in our music. So we mix that passion and we try to express ourselves in our music. So that's, that's the way we do it. Different bands have different influences and from different places. Where do you guys draw your influences from? Well, the Ice of Desolation is a gothic metal band from Costa Rica. Uh, we like the gothic metal, uh, however, we have also influences from another different types of, of music from Scandinavia. So we also like the Sweden music, the Norway music, and also the London music. Well, regarding the influences that we have, um, we are currently working with uh, different styles of music like the doom metal, the melodic death metal, of course, the gothic metal. Regarding the bands, it's very hard to choose, but I would say like, for example, Dark Tranquility from Sweden, uh, would be Paradise Lost from England, also Caron from Finland to die for, and some bands like that. What story behind the name of the band, The Eyes of Desolation? We were figuring out about the name uh, one day and we had a solid idea with Desolation but we didn't have anything more. So we started to look around the, uh, around the room and we saw a, a poster of, of a film, I don't remember but it, it was an eye. So someone came up with, hey, Eye of Desolation, the Eyes of Desolation, so that, that sounds great. So let's do it and that's basically the story of the name of the band. It's pretty fun, but we liked it. Do you have any rituals before you hit the stage? If so, what are they? Okay, well, about the rituals before hitting stage, we we really don't have like one ritual, but well, we like to pray to all the gods we know just in case someone fails so we can have a backup. <laughs> but actually, no, we just have a good time. We give a lot of support. Uh, to all, to all the members of the band, and that's basically what we do before, before hitting stage, and it helps a lot. What's the toughest lesson you ever learned in the studio or on the stage? Well, we learned a lot of lessons during the, the last two years. Um, it's our first album, so we went working actually with Cabin Studio. We learned a lot of them, uh, but the most important thing is to be a professional, to be serious, and at the same time enjoy it and laugh when you need to laugh but focus when, need you, when you need to focus. You actually need to always be a professional and look up on everything you love and the passion that you have and uh, focus on that thing and put a lot of effort on that. So never give up and fight for your dreams. That's, that's the, the best lesson I learned in my life. What would fans be surprised to find on your iPods? Well, they probably be uh, surprised if they see my Frank Sinatra collection on my iPod, <laughs> uh, I also have a, a local singer named Kurt Dyer. I have uh, the latest record of him. And I let me remember what I also have. 
Well, I also have a, a lot of, of, of 80s music. I, I really like bands like Hollow Notes, uh, Air, Wind and Fire, uh, Spandau Ballet, Aha, and well, I, I really love this kind of music. Well, in my personal case, um, um, what will be a surprise, maybe I'll, I really like the, the punk rock, but right now my favorite band without the metal scene, it would be Paramore from Nashville, Tennessee. Well, some bands that come to my mind would be like some, some bands from the 90s like Garbage, The Cranberries, I also have The Killers on my, on my iPod, and also I have some music from the, from, from the 80s. That would be it. What's the metal scene like in Costa Rica? Do you receive a lot of support from the fans in general? The metal scene here in Costa Rica, it's pretty, pretty small. To be honest, uh, we don't have enough support from the media. However, all the bands, all the Costa Rican bands, uh, regardless of the music style, work a lot to try to make a living with the music. If you're stranded on a desert island, you can take only three CDs for the rest of all eternity. Assuming you had a solo powered CD player, what would they be? Well, it would be very hard to choose on a specific record from on a specific band, but I will definitely choose to take music from, for example, Dark Tranquility and Theater of Tragedy, Tristania, El Beiti, Dark Lunacy, for example. Well, I, I totally agree with with Carazo. It's it's pretty difficult to choose just three three records from a, a lot of bands that we have, but I definitely will choose bands as Him, Catatonia, Dark Tranquility. Yeah, bands like that. In my case, I probably bring uh, Frank Sinatra's Greatest Hits, Iron Maiden's Power Slave, and Opet's Black Water Park. What's next for Eyes of Desolation? Well, we are working on our first video clip. We are also planning our tour for Songs for Desolated Hearts, and we are writing new songs for the second album. Well, on behalf of Mario and Javier, I, I want to say thank you very much for the opportunity, Bruce. Well, from my part, I just want to say thank you very much from, from all the band, the Eyes of Desolation and the metal scene in Costa Rica. Thank you very much for your support and the opportunity and hopefully we will be on the United States soon. So thank you very much for all. And I would like to thank you as well and I hope to see you soon. Pura vida. Pura vida. Pura vida.